Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Basic Sorgonomics. Please, as always, check out Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter, um, which tends to be a lot of social media stuff. And we actually have some fun stuff we're going to be announcing in the very, very near future from Sorgatron Media and some other cool, fun new stuff as well. So today I want to talk about Periscope. And um, and as funny as you know, I usually when I'm recording this, I put on Periscope. So it's another kind of a live stream. People can check me out. And thank you, everybody, giving me the hearts out there in Periscope land. And uh, usually... Usually, usually I don't pay attention to Periscope. It's kind of just people can stream and join me as I'm doing this, but I, I generally find it's a distraction for the kind of conversation I try to have with you guys on here. And uh, and so I wanted to put out uh, what people are liking about Periscope. I've been using Periscope in, I don't know, the normal Periscope way, I guess, just kind of putting it on and say, hey guys, I'm going out for my day, just hanging, I'm going to be doing this today. What are you guys into? Uh, where are you at? What are you? What, what What's up? Do you have any questions? Um, and and I want to talk a little bit about experience. Uh, again, I put out a question on the Periscope, and, and if anybody else is popping in uh, here as well, about what do you like checking out on Periscope? I'm um, trying to figure out what is the best thing, what's going to attract a bunch of people. Um, one guy that was on here, a uh, guy, girl, I'm sorry I missed the username, uh, said, somebody says females. I like to troll the, the people. I see a lot of that. There's a lot of weird comments on there. Um, the one guy earlier was saying that they like learning stuff. Some conversations I've had over the week says people like to see uh, locations and, and other places. Um, I know there was a lot happening when uh, my friend Katie went to the beach a couple weeks ago and uh, likes to ask questions in there when it comes up. Uh, she went to the beach a couple weeks ago. I went up to Mount Washington uh, last week and decided to pull up the Periscope and say, hey guys, so, you know, check out you know, what's going on here. Uh, one of the earlier ones I was into, uh, a fellow named Alex Lindsay was actually he's in Rwanda a lot, doing a lot of work with media services down there. He's, he's from originally Pittsburgh and stuff, but um, he he would just put it on his dash and like here's me driving around Rwanda and there's you know all kinds of people walking around and everything as he's trying to make his way and everything so you know that's a cool perspective i kind of put the idea out our friend actually is in a a, a good friend of ours on the wrestling mayhem show we call him wheels he's hot wheels he's leading the way and I, he was kind of figuring out well what do i do a periscope and i was like well man you know you literally have a different perspective of life, like very literally, you know, he's in a wheelchair. He's, he's, at a, he's at a lower level, get, you know, getting around and everything. I was like, man, just get a gorilla pod, you know, one of those little gorilla wrap around kind of pods you can get for your iPhone or your tablet, whatever the case may be. I know he has like an Android phone and a tablet and all this stuff. And it's like, just kind of strap that onto, you know, the side of your wheelchair. And I know he goes to the local, uh, uh, uh college a lot and he hangs out down there with a lot of the guys. And, uh, and, and just like just like pop it up and be like, hey, this is this is my perspective of life. And I think a lot of people will be interested in that, you know, um, and, and, and maybe, you know, you never know what can come out of that. Um, as I said, so we've got locations, we got those kinds of things. I was doing a Periscope the other night where, geez, what were we doing? We started it off. I think we did it after the podcast. We did it after Tuesday night podcast, which we do about four to five shows on every Tuesday night, plus this show. So like four, five, six shows in a row all night long. We, we stream them live on YouTube. We do this thing. And just while I was just waiting for files to come from this computer over this computer on the on the network so I could go edit them, um, I just ended up in a conversation, say, hey, guys, what do you guys want to talk about? What's going on? This is what we're doing over here. And it turned out being like this existential conversation. <laughs> I can't remember what all we got into, but we started talking about life and 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 stuff, and 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 it just got really deep in the long run. It would talk about like is technology like getting in the way of the things we're doing, man? Uh, and, and it was a really fun conversation. And and I always worry about this being a one sided conversation uh, because there's me on the camera and there's people with these 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 bubbles that pop up a little bit. Um, one other thing I noticed about this as I go, I, I tried tonight during Monday Night Raw um, or during a commercial, just pop it up and say, hey, what do you guys think of the wrestling show tonight? Um, um, you know, have any thoughts on it? This is what I think what's going on. Hey, the girls are coming up next. Uh, you know, I wonder if she's going to lose the title, you know, that kind of thing. But especially in that one, I'm just kind of doing a quick thing, checking it out. I got a good like 60 people pop in there over like a couple of minutes and um and, and I noticed that, and as, I, as I'm looking, you may notice my eyes are wandering if you're on the video version of this on YouTube. Um, but uh, my, 
it just just kind of keeping up with the conversation because everything disappears and I'm so worried about losing the conversation, not answering somebody. I want to engage with the people that took the time to tune in before we lose them, right? Because everybody wants that attention span. Uh, everyone wants that attention, I think, a lot too. But uh, so I end up talking and conversing and then uh, um, interrupting my own conversation. And I've noticed as I listen to other uh, Periscopers too, uh, yeah, I think such and such and such and such. And then you don't entirely finish or you're rushed to finish that answer so you can get to the other person's before it disappears. <laughs> so, so you see the question say, and 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 you don't see the username as I often don't see the username, you know, because the phone is just out of arm's length uh, as we're set up here. I'm not going to see them at this length. Um, so where are we at with Periscope? And again, we have other tools I've talked about on this show about Blab, Blab.im, which really takes that Periscope concept and we have the audience, but we also have multiple people, much like what we've been doing with Google Hangout. I just did a Google Hangout this evening as I record this uh, with Mike talking about Monday Night Raw that does fantastic work, but it, it doesn't get the interaction like a platform like Periscope or the Blab IM does. That was the missing thing. Unless you create something like we do on Tuesday nights, because we're taking a YouTube Live and we we put a chat room in there and that's how we get our our, our 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 interactions we have a person sitting on twitter and looking for ant people responding on twitter to what we're talking about and letting them know what we're talking about live with the live link so people can come check it out um like th that's we have to build a lot around it versus i just i'm up on periscope people are hopping in here people are asking questions right on their phone we're good to go. It's just so ready made to do that. So what can we do with this? Uh, you know, there's a lot of dissension. I know some people, um, some people are asking, uh, okay, how do I monetize this? Should my business be a part of this? And a lot of conversation we've had at PodCamp Pittsburgh since PodCamp Pittsburgh has been, um, maybe this doesn't work for you. You know, if you have something visual, yeah, it's a good behind the scenes tool. If it's something where you're an if you're a, you're an intellectual technology kind of thing, like I I guess I can kind of say what we are here when we're talking about helping clients with our social media, our video pro platforms, programs, stuff like that. Um, that's something where we get on and like I'm doing right now, talking about our experience with Periscope and what do we think we can do with this and grow this into a platform and help your company and, or whatever you're trying to do, um, um, get out there with this. It's not for the big corporations. A lot of times it's not for somebody that doesn't have something visual. I don't know. I don't know if actually, you know, I'm, I'm, I was actually going to make the example. I, you know, tax person. Uh, maybe it isn't going to get much up out of Periscope, but you know, it would actually make a lot of sense if you are a tax agency, when it gets around tax time here at the turn of the year, you start doing a regular Q and a with the tax guy. And there's a lot of questions. I can be like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? Uh, my taxes for ink and sale tax and all this stuff. I can use a lot of those questions answered. Uh, but, uh, you know, but that kind of thing, if you, especially if you have an expertise in a field, I know it gets weird with medical. That's one thing I've seen a lot in my clientele. Uh, how do you have that conversation? When is it something that you're allowed to have a conversation about? But there is a certain level where you can certainly answer questions, I think, um, on a lot of those things. I think uh, lawyers, I don't know if there's any anything blocking a lawyer from giving advice over Periscope necessarily, other than you are a lawyer or, or you're giving a certain aspect of advice and maybe have to stop at a certain point, I'm sure. But there could be something there. Hey, I'm the friendly lawyer that's on Periscope. You can ask me your law questions, and I don't charge you $400 an hour. I'm sure that's even low considering what a lawyer gets paid. But there's some ideas on that. There's some experience on Periscope. Let me know, what are you liking on Periscope? What are you getting into? Do you spend a lot of time on Periscope? Or is it just something when you see something pop up from a friend of yours or somebody you like to follow and you click that thing and you check it out randomly? Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron as well on Periscopes. If you want to see some of the random stuff I've been doing lately and checking some stuff out, please let me know. And uh, please subscribe to everything. Sorgatron.com. I'm, I'm redesigning things. If you see a little 404, come back and a little bit I'm, a, I'm i'm kind of re i'm moving stuff from server to server and i kind of had a, a, a halted attempt here on, on on this labor day uh so so other than that it should be good otherwise please subscribe to us on audio and video versions for basic sorgonomics and the facebook page as well how do you get followers just be on periscope and do cool things man 
That's that's what I can. That's what I say. Um, use your hashtags tonight. I use hashtag WWE Raw, and I had sixty some people pop in, and they'll follow you if you're doing good stuff that um, that they dig. If they want to come back, right? If they want to make sure, like I want to know when this dude's talking about this weird stuff over here, they'll follow you. Hopefully, you dug what I was talking about, and you'll follow me. And hopefully, I've done my job and 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 got a follow here, so I can talk to you about other stuff later. You know, I mean that that's that's how you do it. I, 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 every plan of get more followers, become popular on the social media um, has to be, start with, are you entertaining or informative and you're getting people's attention? I hope you got, I got your attention. I hope I'm getting your attention on this video podcast, audio podcast, wherever you're catching me. And I'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.